How's it going? Andrew Cooley, VP of BizDev at Storyteller Overland, coming to you live from Thousand Oaks, California, with Conejo RV. I'm here today to show you the 2019 Storyteller Overland mode, 4x4, and why at Storyteller Overland, we build the world's greatest adventure fans. Come on in here, let me check it out for you. So first thing I want you to notice is that everything that we build is on the brand new 2019 Sprinter chassis by Mercedes. Okay? This has adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, all your standard safety features that you come to expect are packed into this. It has a brand new redesigned front end. This is absolutely gorgeous. The inside of this unit actually looks and functions as a Mercedes Benz. It doesn't look like a normal commercial van, which is really nice. Come on around this way. Not only is it absolutely gorgeous on the front, but we equip the mode 4x4 with a selenite gray metallic paint scheme. This is the first year that Mercedes-Benz has ever put this paint scheme on a non-AMG version of one of their vehicles. Uh, the great thing about it, depending on which angle you're parked at in the sun, it will appear as if it's a different color. It is a very premium paint color. Okay? Uh, so I want you to notice the, uh, the, the wheels right here of our mode 4x4. These are 265 tires with an 18-inch custom rim right here. Uh, this rim is made exclusively at Mercedes-Benz. Uh, you can buy these rims at Mercedes-Benz anywhere across America. Um, that's the uh, engineering and planning that we have at Storyteller Overland. All right? So not only is it absolutely gorgeous, but the one thing that catches everybody's eye is our retro stripe going all the way down the side. You know that when you see this van with that retro stripe, that it's a Storyteller Overland mode for about you know right off the top of your head. We also give you a running board to pop up inside, the driver's side, because this is an off-road vehicle. It is a 4x4, so it is up in the air. Uh, also on this side, we give you a 30 amp power cord right here. This is a smart plug 30 amp power cord. Gone are the days are the push, twist, and lock-in power cords that you only have 80 to 85% connectivity on. This gives you 100% of an co electrical connection that way, whenever you're charging your unit, you're getting a pure charge, okay? Another thing that I want you to notice about this side right here, this is our gray tank. It's encased with a steel plate covering, okay? This steel plate covering allows us to passively heat this gray tank so you can go down to a true zero degrees, all right? It can go down to a true zero, so four season camper, without this freezing, all right? Next thing I want you to notice is the automotive grade materials that we have used to build this van out, okay? So this is an automotive grade window right here, dual plane, tinted window. These two bottoms flip open, that way the air can get inside the unit, even when it's raining. You can still have a nice breeze coming across your face, even when it's raining outside. The next thing I want you to notice is what's possibly, quite possibly, the uh, heavy dutyest ladder ever installed on an RV. Okay? Watch this, this whole chassis is going to move before this ladder goes, okay? So I can put on here and shake this unit back and forth, and that ladder is still going to stay right in the same place. That's important, it's a tubular ladder. When you're putting gear up on your roof rack and bringing it back down, you want to make sure that what you're climbing on is going to be able to hold you up and is not going to fail. The next thing that we have up on top of the roof is two real roof racks, okay? So these are front runner roof racks. They are real roof racks. You can't do that on any other RV. Only the sports are over the mode for about. Okay? With front runner, front runner offers hundreds of accessories that you can use to install on top of these roof racks to carry more cargo, more gear, more water. A tent also can go on top of here. It is really cool, everything that you can do up front of Next thing I want you to notice about the Storyteller Overland mode is the flare space that we put on the sides, okay? This gives us a real stalky look when we're sitting there, number one. But then also, it really opens it up, the space that we have on the interior for the bed. And we can sleep across this way because of this clear space, and we don't have to sleep front to back. Okay. Um, so, city water connection, 
standard on RVs, fresh water connection, standard on RVs. Again, retro stripe, absolutely gorgeous, mode four by four. We'll come around to the back. So on the rear we have a backup camera. You can see the rear roof rack right here, the back of it. So this rear roof rack is gonna have your AC unit in the middle, a 45 watt solar panel on this side, and a 45 watt solar panel on this side. The cool thing about that is you can expand from 90 up to 500 watts worth of solar on here. Uh, so you can put a lot of solar panels up there if you so choose. Uh, everything that we build comes with a factory installed hitch. You can tow 5,000 pounds and it has a tongue weight of 500 pounds, okay? Also has a seven way plug right here. Um, if you have a old school trailer that has a four way plug, you can go from a, you get a, get a seven to four way adapter. Um, that way you can still tow an older school trailer, okay? So you come around right here, you see we have a 10 by eight awning right here. Notice there's no poles that I got sticking to the ground. There's no poles coming right here that I gotta pull it up. This awning scissors out and guess what else? When the wind gets up too high, it will automatically retract. I want you to see this, okay? So it's gotta get up to around 60 miles an hour wind and it will automatically go back in. So you can leave your mode uh, at your campsite, okay? You can come back and if it gets too windy, your awning is still gonna be attached. You don't have to worry about it, all right? Notice we have flare space on this side as well too. We give you two 110 outlets that are GFI switches because this is on the exterior. If it does get wet, we want you to be safe. Retro stripe all the way down the side. Running boards right here as well too. Again, automotive grade window. These two ends also flip open so the air can get inside here. This is really important. This is really important. We are the only RV manufacturer in the entire world that puts a window sticker on our units. The reason we're able to do that is because we're in control of the pricing. Every mode 4x4 that's made by Storyteller Overland is sold at invoice. It's sold at invoice and it's the same price at every dealership across the country. So just how automobiles are sold, the dealer will receive a rebate, okay? But you have confidence that you are getting the lowest possible price from day one. No, Gone is haggle, gone is hassle, gone is that dealer's got this unit for $10,000 cheaper than you do. This is the lowest possible price that you can get on this unit and it's the price that every dealer sells for, all right? So I want you to step on inside here and you'll see the interior of our Storyteller over there. So the first thing you see when you open the door, of course, is our kitchen galley right here. So our kitchen galley comes with an outside table right here. You can put 15 pounds on this outside table. All right, this is a starboard material. We know we're gonna get wet out here. We know it's gonna get wet outside. Um, so we wanted to give you a table that could withstand that water, that would not warp, would not deland, that would still look brand new, even if it was left out in the rain, okay? Um, so we have a, 2.76 cubic feet uh, freezer slash refrigerator in here is compressor driven, okay? There is a freezer compartment right inside here. Everybody talks about cubic feet. You can put 53 12 ounce cans in here. That's what really matters. Okay, let's, let's be serious. 53 12 ounce cans can fit inside of this refrigerator, all right? So we have lights on our awning right here, LED lights that come on and off. And again, it's a 10 by 8 on. If you want to step on inside. Look at all this space. This is a ton of storage space back here, okay? So the bed folds up on either side. That's incredible. I'm six foot one, okay? I can stand up back here. Look at me, I'm standing up. My hair's blowing in the wind, this air conditioner is on. You don't hear a generator running. We're not plugged up to power. How does this AC work? It's a 13.5K BTU AC unit? Well, let me tell you how. We have an Empower uh, Volta Energy Storage System right here. It has 12,000 watt hours of a lithium ion battery system in here, okay? It's all regulated by a 3,600 watt inverter that sits right here. It's recharged with a triple charge off your solar panels but then we also have an additional alternator added to the engine that can charge this battery from zero to 100 in about an hour and 20 minutes. With a high idle, mind you, with a high idle. 
Um, so the first thing I want you to see is the bed system here. So we call this the dream weaver bed, um, and it really does work like a dream, okay? So the first thing I'll do to put this bed system down, I'll open these legs like this. I'll put my hand right here in the middle. I simply come back here to the back. I release this strap, it falls down. This part of the bed comes down. I put the right leg in first. I put the left leg in second. So now we have one part of this dual part bed. Here's the cool thing about this part of the bed. If I want to, remember this is the mode 4 by 4 We want to let you use it for any mode of life that you're in. You can take the cushion off, just like this. Store it underneath here. And now you have a workbench. So this workbench can support 400 pounds, okay? This is a heavy duty workbench. Same starboard material that you see outside on your outside table. So it's not gonna absorb any water, it's not gonna mold, it's not gonna mildew, it's not gonna stain. It can get, get scratched just like any table can get scratched or any countertop can get scratched. If you wanna use it as a workbench, again, you can. To plug up any tools that you might have, we give you two 110 grounded outlets right here, okay? Let's say you wanna use this as a computer desk. You can do that too. Here's your power point for all your controls, okay? Let's say you want to use it as a double countertop extension because you're cooking over here in the kitchen galley and this is back over here on this side and we're going from one to the other. It's more like we're in our home. So you double your countertop space inside here. Again, mode 4x4, four four, any mode of life that you want to use it in, that's what we're trying to give you with the freedom to do what you want to in this unit, okay? So let me show you how everything looks when it's all down. All right? So this side of this bed just simply folds down like this. This flare space cushion gets pushed in here. This one comes over here. It's pushed into this side just like that. Here's the cushion that I took off to show you the workspace before. And it simply Velcro's on right there. So this whole bed system can support 800 pounds total. That's crazy. You're never gonna put 800 pounds in this bed, but it can support it if you want it to. So this mattress, okay, this is a tweed-like material, it's hypoallergenic. You can unzip this cloth from this mattress pad and dry clean it if you would like, okay? So this mattress pad is a two-inch foam mattress with a one-inch memory foam topper on it. So it is a very comfortable mattress. You can almost see my handprint in here after I push it down. That's how soft the memory foam is, okay? So it is a very high quality premium mattress, all right? The other thing I want you to notice about the sleeping area is how everything is padded underneath here, okay? Everything is padded. All this is padded. This is all insulated everywhere. All of this is padded, all right here. So someone six foot five can sleep here to here. Someone six foot three can sleep here to here, okay? All right, so this bed is 48 and a half inches across. It's right between a full size bed and a queen bed, so I call it a camper queen, all right? Uh, to sleep on this, you can either put a flat sheet, you can put a quilt, you can put your sleeping bags on top of here if you would like. Uh, there's nothing that you can't do on here. Again, two people can sleep on this bed right here. Right, so to put it back up, I simply push these back over right here on either side. The flare space goes up. This is so simple. I use one hand. This moves up just like that. How awesome is that? Okay. It comes back up. It straps up onto its anchor bit. I pull the strap down right here. Now it's sitting perfectly straight up and down. Same thing over here on this side. It's very simple. All I do is just lift up one hand, okay? I come here. This is a heavy duty adventure band. This goes in like that. This goes in like that. And this straps all the way up right here with this anchor hook and sits perfectly flush up and down. So you have aesthetically, beautifully pleasing lines throughout this whole unit right here. This is our storage our gear hauling area right here. I want you to notice it has moon boot flooring on the side walls and on the floor. We also give you three big L-Track locking systems throughout this whole unit right here. So you can put two full-size mountain bikes in here with the front wheel, wheel removed and still have your bed down. That is why the bed has been engineered to sit at this height that it is at now. Um, that way your very expensive gear can stay inside while you're camping and you don't have to keep it outside. So on this side uh, is going to be our fresh water tank. 21 gallons of our fresh water tank is right here, okay? Um, this is access to winterize your unit right here if you so choose, um, if you're not going to be using it in the winter. 
And then in the rear right here, we also have an outside shower um, where if we wanted to hose something off or take an outside shower, we could, okay? Um, so our water temperature can get up to 142 degrees in this unit. That's, that's hot, that's like our home. Normal RVs don't do that, but we're not a normal RV. All right, the next thing I want you to notice is how the interior of our cabinets, how everything on the inside is padded. It's padded, it's padded. So when you put your gear in here, okay, it's not gonna rattle around. You're not gonna hear it while you're driving down the road. More importantly, when you go down a trail, you're also not gonna hear it there. It's gonna drive you crazy. The other thing I want you to notice about the construction of these cabinets is, this is the aluminum welded frame right here. Everybody knows it's hard to nails, there's no staples, there's nothing to rattle and pop while you go down the road. This cabinet right here, it looks like real wood. It's gorgeous. This is a composite cabinet door, all right? The reason we use a composite instead of real wood and instead of a wood wrapped with a laminate is because this composite door, no matter if it's hot or cold, doesn't expand and contract. So from the factory, we can fit this with a very tight fit to this, uh, uh, to this aluminum frame and it will always stay there and it's not gonna rattle going down the road. That's why we do that. Um, so the next thing I'd like to show you is our one of a kind, and we did invent it, our engineers are obsessed with this, Halo shower system. Uh, I want it to be clear that you do not have to have the bed up to use your bathroom. You do not have to have the bed up to use your shower, okay? Both of those can be down and you can still have all this functionality. So the first thing you do, because Where's the shower at? You don't even know one's in here, right? But there is one in here, and it's hidden. So you would release your shower pin here, okay? You grab your handle, pull this up right here. Notice inside here we have a portalette toilet. The great thing about that portalette toilet is you can pick it up just like this, and you can take it out. And when you sit it over to the side, now you don't have to straddle the toilet when you're taking a shower. Very, very important, okay? So. This is your halo shower system. Open the cabinet just like any other cabinet does. Notice the cabinet is flush to the ceiling right here, okay? It's not hanging down to hit you in the head. It's flush. So I put my hand here. I simply twist this side, and I twist this side, and this part comes down, okay? This wand stays up here. Again, this is the halo shower system. I let the side out. I lift the side out, I grab the handle here. This is so cool, watch this. Bam, and it comes all the way out. It really does create a halo around your head. So now, I know you can't feel it because this is a video, but if you could, you could feel the high quality of this shower curtain right here. So this shower curtain, this is a cheap shower curtain, and that's important because when you get wet, it's not gonna stick to you. It's also antimicrobial, it's self-wicking, so it's not gonna mold or mildew, all right? So you get done with the shower, Well. How do, I, how do I dry the shower out, okay? So you turn your fantastic vent on for 10 minutes. It pulls the air out here. Your shower is now dry. You roll it back up, okay? So again, we can put out up to 142 degree temperature of hot water out of this shower. The other really cool thing about this shower is it puts out one gallon per minute worth of water. Now, you can take this and you can turn it on and off right here. So you can turn your water on and off. That way you're conserving water and saving it. But if it's flowing for a whole minute, you will get one gallon out of it. That's more like a residential shower. Most RVs and travel trailers, motorhomes, pardon me, only give you about a fourth to a fifth of a gallon per, uh, per minute uh, out of the shower. This is one gallon per minute, okay? So to roll the shower back up, I simply gather it. There's no wrong way to do it. Um, and I just simply roll it up like this right here. And then I strap these down just like this. Bam. And just like that. I gather the hose. I sit it there on the bottom of the cabinet. I twist this lock back up. And now your shower's up. Halo shower system. Uh, engineer design and built at Storyteller Over. So when I'm done, I would simply put my shower my, uh, toilet, portalette toilet back inside the shower pan. Um, and the shower pan can also be used as a storage 
uh, place if you want to remove the toilet. We give you the freedom to do that as well too. Um, to give you a sense of how big the shower pan is, if it's clean and disinfected, that's the important part, um, you could put 100 and, uh, 113 12 ounce cans in this shower pan. They would be double stacked, they would be iced down, and you would still be able to do this right here, shut the lid. That's the really important part, is can you shut the lid going down the road, okay? So the next really cool thing that is unique to us and only us at Storyteller Overland is the fact that we have this Groove Lounge rear seat right here, okay? So I'm a big guy. I can sit right here. There's enough space for me to sit right here. There's also enough space for someone else to sit beside me. With this Groove Lounge rear seat, it is large enough for you to put two full-size car seats, big bulky car seats, side by side right here. You would simply run the three-point safety harness in the back of those car seats to lock them in, all right? So not only is this a seat, it's a Groove Lounge, so it must lounge, right? So I'm about to show you that. The other really cool thing about it is it's also a bed. Let me show you how that works. So the Groove Lounge, again, not only can it seat two people legally, that's really important that you can legally sleep two people, or seat two people in here, you can also sleep two small children or one large adult like my size, okay? So to put this lounge down, I would simply, I've got the seatbelt buckles down, so I'm going to unbuckle those. I'll remove this headrest cushion right here, and I'll simply put it over here, just out of the way. Um, and this is turning the group lounge into a bed mode, okay? So this was simply pulled back. This is leather. This is padded. This has been engineered, designed, and built to sleep on, okay? Right here, we're going to put it in the recline mode. We're going to recline up just slightly. This folds forward, and this folds flat right here. One of the things that I like to do, um, because it is very groovy, right, is to take this pad and place it right back here. in the middle of my galley space right here, cluttering everything up. So let's talk about this galley, all right? We have air intake valves to make sure the refrigerator is running cool, all right? We have a marine style sink right here that pops up hot and cold right here. So again, the really cool thing about this Groove Lounge is not that it's just groovy, um, and it's a bed and a lounge and a rear seat that can legally uh, seat two people going down the road, but that I can also access my refrigerator from sitting right here. That means I can sit here and I can reach over and I can grab whatever it is that I want to drink and enjoy myself, okay? So that refrigerator is inside of our galley. Let's talk about that galley for a second. I want you to see that we give you two 110 outlets on this galley right here. I want you to know that this uh, this right here allows our refrigerator to run cool because this is what br is bringing in air to the refrigerator at all times, all right? Then I want to talk about our sink a little bit. We have a Dometic, this is a marine style sink, okay? It pops up, that gives you the countertop space on top. The faucet folds up and again, this water can get up to 142 degrees inside of this unit. Now what's gonna happen, uh, because we have a 144 inch chassis here, and we don't cut into the chassis because that would void your Mercedes factory warranty, is that you're going to run the water in the sink for about eight seconds. After that, it's going to start filling up. You're going to hit this water pump button right here, and it's going to push the water from your sink across this plate right here and down into your gray tank, okay? Um, so that's how that will work. We give you a Furion induction cooktop in this unit. It's really important for us to put the induction cooktop in this small 144 inch uh, chassis wheelbase because we know when you move around you're going to touch it you're going to touch it you're going to touch this we don't want you to burn yourself okay you do have to have an induction pan uh, to receive the heat coming off this induction cooktop uh, but there's no flame so there's no chance of any of this catching on fire anywhere uh, we also give you a 700 watt turntable microwave in here all right so it's small but very mighty uh, again, so we can move back over here to the front. 
we give you a fantastic vent right here. The great thing about this fantastic vent is it is so powerful that it can recycle the air inside of this whole RV every 90 seconds. So you have brand new air coming in. If you want to get a little bit of airflow coming up and into the vehicle, you simply open these windows on the side. You can feel that nice breeze coming in. Just like that. And it's still gorgeous. You don't have to pop anything out and place anything down. You simply twist the high quality automotive grade window open to let the breeze inside, okay? Um, so the next thing I want you to see is our control panel over here. Uh, even our control panel is padded on the back. This is a high quality control panel, okay? So we have our Volta or our M-Power system by Volta on off button here. We have how much energy we have inside of that system. Um, we have how many watts we're using at all times. This is so cool. It shows us exactly how many watts we're using at all times inside of our unit, okay? Uh, we can also have the ability to set this to take a charge of in five amp increments. So and why that matters is if we're at our home and we're plugged up to a regular 110 outlet, we have 15 amps coming in, okay? So we can change the system to accept a 15 amp charge at a 100% efficiency rate. You go to an old school Corps of Engineers campground and they only have a 110 outlet or a 20 amp hookup, you can change this to accept the 20 amp uh, input rate. Um, it comes set from the factory at 15 amps. We have a 30 amp power cord. Um, so if you go to a standard campground and plug up, all you have to do is change it over to 30 amps. Um, and it will be charging at 100% efficiency. So again, brand new technology, never been done before, shows you exactly how much power you're using at all times, but also you can recharge your unit as efficiently as possible as well too. Okay. Um, so we use the iTank monitoring system right here. Um, so what this is going to tell us, uh, gone in our fresh water tank is the old school, see how the tank levels right now, it's reading zero. Okay, gray tank is also reading zero. This scans once every 30 seconds, all right? It scans the tank level of the fresh water and the gray tank. And so what it is, is an electrical strip right here on this side of the tank, an electrical strip on this side of the tank, and it sends an electrical impulse across from point A to point B on each one. And if it gets there very quickly, they know it's, that electrical impulse is traveling through water. So gone are the days where you had the old school, um, what looked like what you would use to uh, fill up a basketball with, um, a little needle like that, that would go into the side of the tank. Um, and if you had a black tank, then those little needles would get um, things hung up on them and you would get inaccurate readings on your tank levels, okay? Uh, the other really cool thing um, about our control panel up here is your AC and your furnace are operated right here off of the central control button right here, okay? So we use a fuel-fired heating system inside of this unit, all right? So when you come in, all you have to do is simply turn your fuel-fired heating system on, all right? Now, if you want to get your water hot, you can switch that on. If you want to turn the furnace on, you can switch that on as well, too. So to get heat, you have to turn this furnace switch on, all right? And then you come here, press the power button, okay? You cycle through to the mode that you would like in. See the cool AC? Um, here's the heat right here. So everything is controlled off of this panel. Um, so you don't have one controller for your heat and one controller for your AC. It's all centrally located right here. This is really important that all your control panels, that you can see everything clearly at one time, that they're all in the same area, um, not just for a functionality purpose, but also for a serviceability purpose for you uh, as a consumer after you, after you buy your mode and you're on the road, okay? Um, and that's it. That's, that is the mode 4x4. Thank you so much.